in Texas look behind you Cause that's where the Rangers gonna be So this could be more problems for the Kangaroos. The kick from Brown was good. He's coming off, Petrie. He's in trouble. Gee. This is major problems quite possibly as Brad Crouch to Walker, who takes the mark just inside 50. So one end of the ground, you've got Petrie limping off. And at the other end, off now. he's got... shaking it off, Sandy. He's well, going to stay on. That's good news because Tex Walker has it. He's almost directly in front. Distance won't be a problem. There you can see Petrie. Just trying to walk it out. He starts walking before the clock counts down to zero. It's a beautiful kick off the boot. That is a magnificent kick. You can see the stats there from that spot on the ground, 16 goals, five. That Taylor Walker loves that spot for a set shot. This is the Drew Petrie here. So this is Cheney coming back in, knocks his head on his knee. So I thought he actually got lower, lower on his legs there to maybe a free kick to go to Drew Petrie. Not the case, went to Cheney and then Adelaide were able to transition straight down the ground in the hands of their key forward. Well, the Crows have it back out to 19 points after a goal to their skipper, Taylor Walker, who's got his first. Jenkins had a big first half, three goals. Helping his side to an 18-point lead at halftime. Brad Crouch bumped off it by Cunnington. McKay did well. I won back in the Jenkins direction again. Ooh. Farina right with him. Oh, it spills to Walker. Top of the square. He'll bang it through for his second. It's kind of out of nowhere, isn't it? It's a bit of a stagnant start to this, to this third quarter. And players are just like a couple of stoppages. And Adelaide in the end get, get one clear here. There's Walker just... Popping out the yeah. back of the contest. Good toe poke in the end from Jenkins. Smart play to be able to see, see Walker. Scotty Thompson was on Taylor Walker. He went to the contest and he didn't have any impact. So he's left him there. He's gone to the foot of the ball. Goes straight past him. Walker kicks the goal. One in. The task for the Kangas getting more difficult by the minute as Tex Walker having a good night. 13 disposals, six marks, kicked a couple of goals. 40 for the Adelaide Crows, up by 32 points. Loby, Jacobs favoured by it, did nicely. Yeah. Crouch, away towards Walker, didn't mark it. Carlisle, bad blue. Ball comes back to Walker from Eddie Betts. Now it's not impossible from here, surely not. It's not impossible. The Texans kicked it. Wow. Well, all the signs that say it might be your day are in Adelaide colours. Eddie electrifying. Couple of little errors. Ball bobbles out Walker's way and then from the boundary line threads it through like that. That was an unbelievable kick. We're right behind that kick and it looked like he was actually going to be claimed at Walker. Just watch this again. Just gets the ball to boot in time has a quick look knows exactly what he's doing gets the right bend on the ball that is just a magnificent shot at goal well it's just instinctive i mean he had so little time was so brilliant the execution his 26th goal you? in a showdown only treadray with 30 has more brown back with the flight not quite tackle didn't quite stick dixon has to deal with talia brown as always just Continues to work hard. Ran into Dougal Howard, the debutante. Now Talia, he gets hold of Archie. Legal disposal. No disposal. No disposal. Play on 
15! Plan! Plan! Plan number 15! Look at the options though. Mm. Yeah. Over the top, the ball should go. Wonderful kick from Sloan. It was pinpointed to Jenkins. Five last week. Already a couple this afternoon. Again, Betts. He lurks. Not quite terrific from Hopsch. He's a tough, reliable you know, defender. Tupas. Terrible to Carlisle. Tex, can he kick another? This is easier. Tex, Tex, Tex has two. Well, when it is your day, it is your day. And right now, it looks as though the Crows are going to have some sort of an afternoon. Eight goals, four to one, two. And Tupas just missed Carlisle altogether. And then suddenly, the seas parted for Tex Walker. It's not quite three minutes into this second term. And the margin is 44 points. 250 count is now just getting really lopsided. 28 to 16. Back in the middle. They're pouring it on the Adelaide Crows. 33 points between these two sides. Miles again just slightly off. And then the fumble. It's contagious. Hurley to himself. Can he find a path? No is the definitive answer. And the Crows are running again. Seedsman takes it from lines. Next up, McKay. Eddie in the pocket. Well Taylor at full forward. Brilliant vision. Over to you, Skip. Uh, that was, look, as much as Tex Walker did the right thing, and it was as much as uh, McKay's kick was superb, Eddie's charge to the pocket is the one that sucked the players away, Jono, which allowed them to get that nice open space. They're just power running a lot better than Richmond at the moment. Hawley fumbled on the wing here, went back to win it again, fumbled again. Adelaide's numbers can't, the way they've got numbers around the footy today, you cannot second grab a ball, otherwise it results in this. And that. Adelaide lead by 39. Well, he's absolutely slaughtered uh, that one. Tex Walker straight through the middle, absolutely <laughs> smashed it, didn't he? Let's have a look at... Uh, but look at the, the run here. created by there, Eddie. There's the turnover. And then you've just got run. You've got power run from there. You've got power run from McKay. Then you've got Eddie Betts coming to the pocket, Jared. And look at Walker just work his way out into the middle of the ground, the yeah. corridor. All started in the middle. They had the ball. They fumbled it. In trouble, Tigers. A little bit of a spray from Jack there. I'm not sure whether I like that too much, Jared. Alice Young player. And Alice. And McIntosh. Lloyd, bit of a stand-up with Laird, what a player. Takes the mark. Good rebound. Had Riley Knight oh, running for him. Open. Now Seedsman charging down the ground. It to Tex. Jenkins could still be the option. He went for him. He'll mark it. He had Tex to his right, Eddie to his left. The band's still together, and he puts it through. Great rebound footage, Jono. Yeah, they're running there. Their coast-to-coast -coast work has been so impressive. We highlighted it at, at halftime. It all starts deep. It does. Very deep. And then they go. That's a good one-on-one -on -one mark by Laird. And then, they're, and then they're away. They've just got runners everywhere. They've got players that use the ball well long. And Seedsman's one of those. And straight over the top. And then they've just got their forwards. Look at that. Too easy. Speed of ball movement. It's really impressive from Adelaide. It's catching Richmond out very, uh, very often. Position to, to springboard in the last 10 minutes of this quarter, but if you can keep that margin to three-quarter time, you're in the contest. You're away. Easy misses Lira. just really deflate you. Couldn't quite take it, Miller. It has another crack. Started the game well, but quiet after that. Chips to the wing. That Sloan. Just over his head for lines. Good work by Sloan. Then he knew exactly oh. where his teammate was. Miller uh, tries to rectify the situation. Oh, Lucky. Certainly a duck there, but thank you, he got thank away you, with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chapter doing his best to score. Lucky, he could give away 50 here. Sorry, just get up. His... <laughs> just get up just and get stand up and run off thank you. Him. And he wanted to. Yeah, and he gets in the way. Miller put on a dancing display there, and then put it on the chest. Of Tay -Tay. He'll kick this. Kick the goal, too. Yes, this would be huge. Well done, Miller. It's a fine line between doing too much and uh, letting it hang out. This is going to be big. 
It's going to be big. Oh. It's huge. Great kick, Tex. Just what the doctor ordered for the Crows. The captain steps up on the back of their young star. And that was uh, just a great combination. Here's Miller. Up. He gets uh, assaulted, dragged down, a little bit of uh, dislocation work there. <laughs> But you know, it was this, good this, enough. But this went on for long enough for Richmond to get enough players back defensively. They leave the corridor open. Get off him, says Sauce. Look at that. Oh, one, two, Chaplin. And then the three inboard. Oh, yeah. And then... Hit the target. Look at that. Right down the corridor. Space to burn when he was held up for some time, Miller. And then big tax. He's got the big leg. He's kicked that 65. <laughs> Crowd are screaming for the equality decision, considering the one that yielded a goal at the other end of the ground. Tip it again, fending it down. Any flashing through. It's a good play, that kid, isn't it? Thompson had the numbers at the back. Atkins in support. Did well, didn't yeah. rush at the disposal. Thought there's a chance to get inside, and there was. Lost him. And that was a superb bit of play, and Taylor Walker. Now, with the foot, he can go back to Skipper and pop it through. Just good body movement there by Tex. Uh, Richards just lost him in a little swivel of the body and got a metre from that, was able to jump at the ball, and Richards was uh, left wondering what happened. Good play too by Atkins. Hasn't been kicking great this year, big Tex. He's a beautiful kick. Ken poking him a bit, a bit closer. Two, two and three for the season. He likes it from there. That's right through the middle for Adelaide's first. Yeah, Hutto, Atkins did the work there. He was the one who gave the slight of hand because, uh, as David King told us in the pre-match, Sydney is so good at putting pressure on, but he just held on to the ball so he could execute a little bit better. A little bit of slight of hand, a little bit of a sidestep. He turned... A bit disappointed. He turned that, Ted around then, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Got him just on a little tiny hook lead. Be hoping for a big one tonight. Tex hasn't had a big start to the season, but loves the big stage. Till now, the extra numbers. And can they profit from it? Smith crafts a kick across the body. Oh, man, curve is so vigorous. Crows defence standing firm again. Steadfast stuff lines. Bangs it out. Train has got to get out of the road. Got to run past him here. They've got the extra number. Lynch, clean kick for McGovern. Got it with authority. Takes it. Had options through the middle. Ignores Thompson. Plays it a little conservatively now. He's hesitating. He was melting for a moment, but he's kicked it well off the left boot for Thompson. Source Walker, here comes, here comes Walker, got it! Big Source yeah. is coming off Hutto and he doesn't look good. No, he's coming from the ground, looks like some sort of right leg. He's just limping his way to the bench now. Might be an ankle, boys, he's just doubled over at the moment. Come back to you shortly. Oh, Taylor Walker. Just soaking this all up. Remember, he kicking into a little wind here. Hutto has been holding back a little bit, but he, he will give it a big punch. Yeah, normally he'd kick it 15 rows over. <laughs> He'll probably only get it six now. Probably the three would hit. The Crows lead by four. And now it's ten. <laughs> the skipper lands a big blow. What a weapon, Ruth. Yeah, when you can pull that out and go bang. He did it last week from well inside the centre square at Eddie had. Great kick. That's why they kick it to him too, anywhere around there, because they know that he gets the job done. He's probably a better kick from 45 to 55 out than he is from 25, because he kicks through the ball so well. Six entries this quarter, boys, for Adelaide for six scores. Another low punch dart to the key forwards as well. It's a good kick. Bruce kicked six last year in that semi. Now the Hawks are on. Segler at the interchange gates, and they played a part in this. Ball goes down towards the attacking 50 lead. In fact, it was Talia in front. Down goes Brown. 
Tried to go back to Talia, nothing doing. Well, well played by Brown. Got it to Atkins. Wheels out of there. Slips a hand pass away. Seedsman sends it forward. Gets it back from Crouch. Gets it to Talia. And Talia sends it up towards the wing. McGovern sets. Couldn't mark it. He'll get a free kick, though. Arms were chopped. McGovern anxious to get the footy. Locked effectively by Gibson. Now he has to clear the mark. Does all of that. Probing kick inside the forward 50. How did this happen? Three of them down there deep. Taylor's taken the mark. Taylor Walker. About well, 25 metres out directly in front. And well done here by Josh Jenkins. New Walker was there. Just stood in the way of Frawley. Didn't let him jump at it. Frawley appeals for the block. He was probably there, but Jenkins made it look... Not obvious enough, which was the right way to do it. Uh, Gibson was the one up standing on the mark, so Tex Walker worked hard, got inside 50. All those white jumpers so deep. Now Walker puts it through for a goal. Adelaide lead. Gee, Doug, he's got one of the best kicking actions I've seen, Tex. He doesn't always know. I, just, I love the way he kicks the ball. Uh, it's all, it's, it's just so controlled. Yeah. And uh, from, from hand to foot, it's, uh, it's just not a lot of room for error in his kicking action. I think he's going to be OK, guys. Just get the feeling they've had their pride prick the champs, and they're responding. As we start this second term, Jacobs flicks it across to Thompson. Douglas took one for the team, gave it to Lynch, feeds it forward. Now Walker right on the 50. He's a punishing kick normally, and this is a beauty. He gets his second, what do we say, the proverbial captain's goal. Well, you have to you have to love that. I love the fact that he looked around. We know that he's he's a an unselfish player. He looked around, no options. If he gives it to a player, they're under more pressure, takes the onus upon himself, goes back and kicks it. He's been averaging a couple of goals a match. And... Uh, and I love the fact that uh, Tex here, you can just see there, he sums it all up. No, no one's there. They'll be under more pressure than me. Goes back and kicks the captain's goal when the Hawks were coming. Because that's where the Rangers going to be.